Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all our latest content. Now, if you want to get in contact with me to talk about your business, then there's two ways you can do that. Number one, visit the, the description in this video. You can book a free 15 to 20 minute call where we jump on Zoom. I show you some, uh, well, I ask you some questions and share with you some actionable steps you can take this week to grow and scale what you're doing. Now, if you don't want to do that, just simply send me an email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com and I will respond there. So today I want to talk about how to get started in seven days, right? So how to start your, your soccer coaching business in under seven days. So something I've been doing since since the start of, of this company and since I've been working with Ben, right? I speak with coaches every single day who either are starting their business they're already in business. They might have anywhere between four to eight clients and they want to grow or they have a steady business that is bringing in two to five K per month and they want to get to the next level. Right. So this video is predominantly for someone that is maybe starting up at the beginning. So at the beginning phase and wants to start today, wants to set everything up so that they can start working with clients and essentially make money uh, coaching soccer. So three things which I'm going to share with you today are three things that I share with most coaches who, when we get on a Zoom call, they ask me about how do I get started with my business. Okay, so the first one is you have to set, set up an LLC. Okay, so for those that don't know what an LLC is, is essentially a, a company, right? A company that you can operate out of and trade under that, that name, okay? So what I would recommend for you, find a CPA, so an accountant in your local area. They will be able to give you more professional advice on this and they will be able to lead you in, in the right direction how to go about setting up an, an LLC, Right, working with a lot of coaches, I know it's this isn't complicated and you can pretty much set up an LLC within 24 hours. Okay, but if you need more uh, help and guidance with this, reach out to a CPA in your local area, whichever city you are, and they will be able to, to give you some more professional advice and give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to how to get that started, right? But you need to have a business in order to start trading and working with with clients okay so the first bit to get started in seven days within seven days okay you need to have a, an LLC so that you can start trading under your your business name okay now the second one is business insurance okay so business insurance is really really important and it's one that a lot of coaches don't take seriously because most coaches think that nothing's going to happen. Okay, but the moment something happens, either your client gets gets injured, all right, or you know you 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 break equipment during your session, or you hire out an indoor air facility and one of your clients smashes a window or breaks something. Okay, once something like this happens in the business, okay, coaches then realize, oh shoot, right, I should have had uh, business insurance. Okay, so business insurance is really important and it's something that's going to cover you, right? It's going to cover you if a client gets injured during your session and, you know, unfortunately we've seen this happen, uh, parents try to sue you for that injury. OK, and for the costs of of a, whether the child needs an operation or any medical fees that is required. We have seen it where parents have, unfortunately, uh, tried to sue coaches over those injuries. Right. So having insurance covers you in the event of that happening. And also, if you want to go and hire out a an indoor 
a venue or facility in your local area. So that'd be maybe a school gym, a church, okay, anywhere that you, you can use indoor for your sessions, right? Those facilities and venues are going to require you to have some sort of insurance in order to be able to go and train inside those facilities, okay? And that essentially covers their back in case you or your clients break anything during the session, okay? So if something does happen, okay, if something does happen and the school or whichever facility you're using, they, they you know, they, they send you the bill for for anything that, that, bro that broke, then your insurance can cover that, obviously, depending if you have the right insurance. But that, that's essentially why we want insurance and we need to tr aim to get the right insurance. Now, if th this is something you need help with, because I know a lot of coaches don't know where to look when it comes to business insurance. Right, Send me an email to Make Money Coaching Sports and I can show you and share with you uh, a couple of uh, companies which coaches in our Sports Accelerator program are currently using in their business, okay? So if you're based out in the US, right, and you need business insurance and you don't know where to look, send me an email. I'll be more than happy to, to respond with some of the companies that our coaches have used. Now, I know we've got a lot of viewers as well from the UK. So if you are in the UK as well, and this is something that you want help with as well, send me an email as well. I know... A number of companies that are very good and have helped uh, UK based coaches that I've worked with as well okay so first one is LLC right now if you're in the UK watching then an LLC essentially would be a private limited company okay so setting up a private limited company where you become the director of that company which is going to help you not only to start trading uh, and start working with clients but also it's going to help when it comes to your your taxes as well and you'll know how what, what taxes to pay depending on how your business is set up legally in whichever country or, or city you are in okay now the third one I look at is right we've set up the business legally we've got insurance now so we are covered now the third one I look at is do we have a facility or do we have a location that we can train our clients out of okay so for some coaches this might be your lo local park this might be a school gym you you rent out this might be a five-a-side field this might be um, a local turf field whichever city you're in okay so wherever you are in whichever city you are having a steady location that you train all your clients out of it's going to make your business a lot easier to to manage because essentially all you have to do once you have the business set up legally once you're insured now you can just go out and market your training and your program to clients well to, to potential uh, parents and prospects and start to get traction and start to invite those those prospects to maybe a free uh, training session with you so you can get in front of them and and they can experience your training but essentially what coaches do when they're starting up they they have multiple places that they're training so they might use a local park then they might have a, a school they train out of or they go to clients houses right what i like Personally, and this is something that you don't have to go with, but this is something I like personally, is I like to have a steady location, right? So one place that all my clients are coming to me for the training. That way I don't have to spend money on gas, on petrol to get to uh, from one place to the other. I'm not driving, right? I'm not traveling. All I have to do is I have to travel to one venue, one facility, one location, and I know that all my clients are going to meet me there and we're, all the training session is going to be done there, okay? Now, when you do do this, when you do find your, your, your perfect location, okay, 
make sure that it's somewhere where you have permission to use. Okay, so I know in the US, so if you are US um, coach watching, I know in some places across the US, you need a permit in order to use a local park, right? So make sure that you find out what if you need a permission or not, because if you do need a permit, to use that that place, maybe it's worth that investment because the worst thing you want to do is start training uh, your clients in either one on one or in groups or small groups, and then suddenly you get kicked off uh, the field because you don't have the right um, documentation to be at that 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 place. Okay, so make sure that any venue or location that you do use. That you one you have permission to use it and two that it's available for when you want to run your training sessions okay so again another example the worst thing you can do is you're running your session and then halfway in another group comes in and they say to you right we have this play this space booked at this time this time and then suddenly you have you know six to eight clients that you're working with and you have to move your training session somewhere else okay or i've seen it as well we have to cancel early because we've got nowhere else to go okay so also it just looks bad it looks bad as the business owner and and it can really kill your session and the flow of your session as well because if you're having if you're in the session you know everything's going well and then suddenly you have to stop it you have to get everyone to collect their stuff collect the equipment and you've got to move that just ruins the flow of the session and also you know the chances are the kids that you train will go home and tell their parents about it and if parents are you know listening or, or hearing that then it, it gives your your business a very bad impression okay so if you need more help with this right get in contact with me two ways to do that number one remember uh, visit the Cal calendly link in the description of this video you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call. Uh, I speak to coaches all around the world. So if you are in the US, if you're in Canada, if you're in Australia, right, get in contact with me. I work with coaches in all those countries. So I have some knowledge, I have some experience, and I can give you some advice if you're, if you're based in one of those countries. If you're in the UK or in Europe, okay, have worked with coaches as well and currently are working with coaches. So I can give you some, some good business advice on that, right? So wherever you are in the world, get in contact with me. Love to connect and meet, meet you as well, okay? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.